Hey, what's going on? It's Greg here from Kinobody.com, and today I was going through all my emails. Um, I had to catch up on a lot of them. It was like 100 plus. And uh, one question that I keep coming across all the time is people that want to know, hey, Greg, should I bulk first or should I cut first? And so I really want to flesh this out here to give you the definitive answer. Now, um, just to kind of preface and say, um, if you go to my site, Kinobody.com, I actually created the Kinobody survey. So on the right hand side, on the banner, there's actually a survey um, that takes you through a bunch of questions to tell you exactly what you need to focus on, you know, how you should approach your training, how you should approach your nutrition, and you know, what you need to do. Um, I actually ended up filming a bunch of videos so I can give someone a tailored answer to their unique situation. Um, and so for people that want to know, hey, should I bulk, should I cut, you can go through that and that will pretty much give you a really, really good answer. But I want to leave you with something here on this video um, in the meantime. So usually I'll get someone asking me uh, and, and they'll ask me, you know, should I bulk, should I cut? And maybe right now they're only 160 pounds at 5 foot 10 um, and their goal weight is 180. But they're 14% body fat and they want to be 8%. So what they have to do is they have to build up a bunch of muscle and they have to drop down um, quite a bit of fat. So there's a few reasons why generally I want people to cut first. The first of which is that you know to add 20 plus pounds of muscle is going to take a long time, um, maybe a couple of years. Um, you know if you want to make it look really good, you want to stay lean. So if they want to see immediate short-term results, the only way you're going to do that is by getting rid of the fat. Because you could go from 14% body fat to 8% body fat in about three months. Um, you know, because usually most people will drop about 2% body fat a, a month if they're you know, do, doing everything right. So that's only three months, whereas the one to add, get to their goal uh, weight, it would take a couple of years. And here's the funny thing is, if they didn't drop fat, they would, wouldn't still, they, they would still not look that great. So if you took the person that's 14%, you know, and 160 pounds, and brought him up to 180 pounds, and maybe his body fat, you know, went up to 15, 16%, he's still not gonna look that good because his mu muscles won't look hard, defined, dense, angular. He'll just look like a bigger version of himself. So that's one reason why I generally want people get cut first. They'll look a lot better instantly. You know, um, their face will be more chiseled, they'll still look great in clothes. If you look at male models, um, they're all very, like, you know, lean, very slim. They might be six foot two and 165 pounds. Um, but they still can look good. Now, obviously, the goal is to you know get lean with a much like more impressive amount of muscle, but it's not a bad place to start. So if you end up on the lighter side, it's okay. Um, as well, when you're really lean, um, when as you build muscle, you look amazing the whole time. So in three months, you'll look like you'll have that six pack, and then as you add that muscle on a proper lean bulking program, you're just going to look amazing throughout the whole process. Um, and it's easier, you know, when you drop any excess fat, your testosterone levels will be higher. Having, you know, 15% plus body fat is going to produce more estrogen, so it's going to reduce your free testosterone levels. So you're going to be able to have higher testosterone levels naturally, lower estrogen, um, and you're better able to build muscle when you're leaner because your nutrient partitioning is better. You have enhanced insulin sensitivity. When you have less fat, your body can better handle carbs, um, interestingly enough. So there's all these different reasons why you should drop the fat first. It's faster to drop fat than it is to build muscle, so you look great instantly. Your body hormonally will be better, more testosterone is fat. You'll be able to better handle carbs and better build muscle while staying lean. Um, so that is the reason why you should probably cut first. Um, some people will complain, they'll say like, look, you know what, um, I'm just like, uh, when I lose weight, everyone says I look too skinny, I look kind of sick, and, uh, but yeah, I don't even have a, have a six pack. And these are people that tend to store um, most of their fat on their, on their abdomen. And so they'll lean out on their arms, their chest, their face before they lose that last bit of stomach fat. And so their friends might just see their face, their arms, and be like, yeah, you're looking really skinny. Um, but they still have that fat right there. And in that case, you know, a lot of times they're insecure about going through a period where they're going to look leaner than, you know, than desired. In that case, I kind of... You know, um, I still kind of tell them, you know what, it's okay to be a bit slim, a bit lean, just for a short period of time. Um, stop focusing on how you look right now. You know, you know, do what you need to do to look your best in six months. Let's focus on the long, the long term. So if looking a bit skinny for a couple months um, is going to allow you to like look a lot better down the road, then I would do that for sure. So, um, and if people want to know how lean they should get, I think 10-12% body fat is fine. Um, if you want to go down to 8%, amazing, but that's really your call. 
Um, there is one legitimate case where I actually recommend people to deliberately focus on building muscle and eating more calories, and that's if someone has already lost a bunch of weight. So let's say someone is, you know, they just dropped 30, 40, 50 pounds of weight, and they are at that point where they're kind of skinny fat. They don't know if they should bulk up now or keep cutting. Um, well, in that case, it might be a good idea to give yourself a break from the diet. It will allow your leptin levels to come up, your testosterone levels to come up after a long period of low calories. Um, it will you know, bring up your metabolism. Um, it will do all these great things so that when you go back on a diet, you lose fat much easier. And if you've been dieting for a few months anyway, your body's primed to build muscle. Um, so if you give yourself more calories and you focus on building muscle, the muscle will come on really, really fast. You can do that for a month, two months, three months. And then when you go back to a cut, literally the fat will melt off. And so that's a situation where I'd say, hey, you know what? Let's just, to give yourself psychologically and physiologically a break from dieting, let's focus on building muscle. Even if you really want to get a lower body fat, it makes sense in that case to focus on building muscle first to set the stage for better fat loss. And that's because you've already done so much dieting, your body needs that break. It needs that period of, you know, um, replenishing itself, re, like, you know, bring up those hormones, uh, bring up your metabolic rate. Um, because if you diet for a long period of time, keep those calories low, there will be an adaptive component. I mean, your metabolism will start to adjust to a lower calorie intake, so you won't burn as many calories as you should. Um, now, that's not to say that if you that, that's not to say that's not to say that your metabolism is going to crash from, from dieting. It just means that it might not be running on as high and as powerful as it used to. But you can fix that just by eating more calories for a period of a couple months. Uh, so, guys. Hopefully this gave you a good idea of whether you should, you know, focus on building muscle first or focus on cutting. Generally, if someone has some fat here that they want to lose, I say get to your goal body fat first, you know. Um, I recommend losing fat once and then never having to worry about dropping a bunch of fat again. Um, because dropping fat kind of sucks. You need to diet pretty, you know, have to diet for, for a few months to lose however much fat you have, maybe longer. Um, and you gotta eat less food. It's harder to enjoy yourself when you have to eat restrictive calories. Although in my worst training program, I teach people how to do it in a really, really enjoyable way. But even still, being able to eat at maintenance is far more enjoyable. Um, so I really recommend dropping fat and dropping fat once, you know? So get fat loss out of the way. Get to a good body fat level and then focus on building muscle and getting stronger. And that's so much fun. You know, going to the gym and being able to eat more calories and you know, putting on lean mass and staying lean is a really, really fun. So get fat loss out of the way and then focus on building muscle and staying lean. Now I will give a couple tips on how to build muscle while staying lean in this video um, just because why not? I'm already on this ramble so let's continue it going. Um, you know, after you've dropped the fat, you don't want to have to drop fat again. People make the mistake of going on big bulks, eating a ton of calories and they end up putting on, you know, 10, 15 pounds of muscle and over the course of six months and they also put on like 15 pounds of fat. Um, a good example is Bradley Cooper in the movie American Sniper. He went from like 186 to about uh, 225, so gained about 39 pounds. Um, people, like you know, his trainers and you know, Team Nation claimed it was pretty much all muscle. It's bullshit. You know, if you watch the movie, he looks fine. He looks like you know, he he he, look, he did a very 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 good job looking like the character he was portraying. So awesome. Um, but he put on a lot of fat. So. And, and as well, he like, it was ridiculous. Like he did like so much training he didn't need to do. If he just focused on eating enough and training a few days a week, he would have had the same result with much less work, I'm not even kidding. Um, and he did like a paleo diet. It's like, if you're really gonna try and gain weight, why restrict your foods to like, you know, paleo foods? It's so much easier to like, if you're gonna be, have to eat 6,000, 6, if you're gonna have to eat 6,000 calories a day, well hell, you know, eat some good food that's not paleo because you have the room. So I thought that was absurd. Um, but yeah, the point is, is if you want to build muscle and stay lean, well, don't eat so goddamn much. Eat around maintenance or slightly above and focus on getting stronger. That will ensure muscle gain. If you want to take an aggressive muscle building approach, I'd say go three weeks eating high calories, about 500 over maintenance, which is a lot. In those three weeks, you'll probably put on a good, you know, three pounds, maybe half muscle, half fat and then spend the last week, the fourth week of the month, cutting that bit of fat. Um, and after that fourth week, you'll probably look bigger and just as lean, which is very, very cool. Anyways guys, the point is, if you're watching this video and you wanna get like 
a tailored answer to what you need to do, if you should, you know, how you should approach your strength training, muscle building, and your nutrition, well, hit the link right here on this page. It is the uh, Keto Body Survey that will take you step by step through a bunch of questions to determine what you need to focus on because um, this will accomplish two things. You know, will, you know, right away we'll get a definitive answer with some really solid tips, um, and also share with you the program of mine that will be the most effective for you. Um, secondly, it will free me up from answering a thousand emails a day because uh, I get emails that I could literally just point people to the to the to the um, uh, survey and they find out instantaneously. So guys, make sure to check that out. Uh, it will make your life and my life easier. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It went on uh, quite a bit, but um, hopefully you found it valuable. Uh, take care. Bye-bye.